Math shows that there is not enough time for human evolution. Evolution believers claim that they descended, by random chance and natural selection, from an alleged chimp-human ancestor, an ape-like creature, that allegedly existed about five to seven million years ago. However, the data from the scientific literature indicates that this is impossible. There is simply not enough time for such evolution to happen by random chance and natural selection, even in the 14 billion year history of the universe. The following article uses population genetics to calculate the amount of time needed to establish nucleotide strings for DNA genes in a hominin, that is, alleged human ancestor population. Scientific article, The Waiting Time Problem in a Model Hominin Population, by John Sanford et al., Theoretical Biology and Medical Modeling, Volume 12, Article 18, 2015. Quote, Results, biologically realistic numerical simulations revealed that a population of this type required inordinately long waiting times to establish even the shortest nucleotide strings. To establish a string of two nucleotides required on average 84 million years. To establish a string of five nucleotides required on average 2 billion years even using the most generous feasible parameter settings. The waiting time required to establish any specific nucleotide string within this type of population was consistently prohibitive. Quote, Conclusion, we show that the waiting time problem is a significant constraint on the macroevolution of the classic hominin population. Routine establishment of specific beneficial strings of two or more nucleotides becomes very problematic. My comment, humans have 689 unique genes that chimps do not have. Human and chimp genomes have 35 million single base pair differences and 5 million insertion deletion differences. ENCODE indicates that at least 80% of these are functional, i.e., 28 million single base pair differences are functional in humans over chimps. Assuming equal distances from the chimp human ancestor, that means that 14 million base pairs have to be created by random chance and natural selection to evolve humans from the alleged chimp human ancestor. This is an impossible task for random chance and natural selection as we will see. Considering genes, if we assume equal distances from the alleged chimp-human common ancestor, that indicates that 344 new genes are needed for humans to evolve from the alleged common ancestor, and another 344 new genes are needed for chimps to evolve from the alleged common ancestor. The typical confirmed human gene has 12 exons of an average length of 236 base pairs each, separated by introns of an average length of 5478 base pairs, NIH. So, the typical human gene is 2832 base pairs long, which would result in a protein that is 944 amino acids long. This means that to develop 344 genes, we need to develop 0.97 million base pairs to move from the alleged common ancestor to humans, or chimps, over a period of 7 million years that evolutionists propose for the time frame for human evolution from alleged chimp-human common ancestor. The paper above shows that to establish a string of two nucleotides required on average 84 million years, to establish a string of five nucleotides required on average two billion years, so just to establish five base pairs requires two billion years, and to establish the needed 0.97 million base pairs for human genes would require trillions and trillions of years. And to generate the 14 million base pairs needed for functional non-gene coding DNA instructions, we require additional trillions of years. So, the scientific literature shows that there is simply not enough time for human evolution to have occurred by naturalistic means from the alleged chimp-human ancestor. Conclusion, math shows that there is not enough time in the entire 14 billion year history of the universe for the naturalistic evolution of humans. Math shows that neo-Darwinism is false for the origin of human beings. In general, neo-Darwinism is not capable of creating completely new body plans and completely new higher taxa, kingdom, phylum, class, order. Microevolution can adapt a species to its environment. This can result in varieties inside a species and formation of closely related species inside a genus, but nothing more. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.